Joining us now from Las Vegas, we have the chairman and CEO of MGM Resorts International, Jim Mirren, joins us today on the program. Good to have you, Jim. Let's talk about the second quarter. We're looking at an $884 million loss. Uh, that comes to around $2 a share. I guess people are wondering, Jim, when exactly is MGM going to get back into the black again? Well, Susan, the loss related uh, almost uh, exclusively to a non-cash uh, write down of city center. So it was an accounting charge and it did not reflect the operating results. Actually, in the second quarter, we did better in the second quarter than we did in the first. And as people uh, sifted through the numbers today, they concluded that the recovery in Las Vegas is already underway and that we look like we're going to have a stronger second half. Yeah, Jim, that uh, write-down was quite significant. I mean, City Center was valued at $8.5 billion. I think the latest equity value measured is uh, $2.5 billion on the books. So what about uh, the future for City Center? You've had to cut room rates and try to, try to bring back uh, gamblers. Are we seeing a turnaround yet? Well, first, the $8.5 billion was the total project cost. It wasn't the equity value. So uh, we did write down the equity value, but it was, it was never as high as that. The equity value uh, was in about the $5 billion range. Uh, but what's happening at City Center is that uh, occupancy started very slow in the first quarter. It was only about 65%. Uh, a lot of markets, that would be okay, but in Las Vegas, it's a low occupancy. We wrote, wrote, increased that to 80% in the second quarter, and occupancy is continuing to build as City Center itself and Aria, the casino hotel, is getting brand awareness. So uh, we would have uh, made money even in the second quarter, but for some bad hold percentage, bad luck that we had in the second quarter. And so we feel like we're on track to be profitable at City Center and at Aria here in the second half. You know, Jim, uh, when the people look at uh, the city center and NGM spending eight and a half billion dollars to build uh, this complex of hotels, condos and casino, some are wondering, why don't you put that money into Macau or Singapore, which seems to be paying off for Steve Wynn and also Sheldon Adelson and LVS? Well, there's no doubt that the Macau market and the Singapore market are rapidly growing and we expect that to continue, by the way. Uh, we got in late into Macau, uh, as you know, but we're starting to uh, assert ourselves right now. We just had a very strong second quarter in the MGM Macau property. We're off to a good start here in the second half, and we fully expect uh, that we're going to be a much larger player, not only making more money out of the existing resort casino, but also having multiple properties in Macau over time. And we do believe that uh, the MGM name, which is obviously well known, in your part of the world will be uh, more uh, frequently visited because we'll have more properties around Asia over time. Yeah, but how are you going to do that, Jim? Because looking at the debt levels of MGM, you're looking at $13.3 billion in terms of debt levels. You know, compare that to Las Vegas Sands, which is holding $10 billion, and also Steve Wynn, which is uh, at a mere 2 to $3 billion in debt. And these are companies that are making money in the quarter, not like MGM, which has lost dollars. Right, but again, uh, the loss was an accounting loss. Uh, we did better here in Las Vegas than anyone. Uh, we will continue to be the dominant player here in Las Vegas. Uh, we generate more cash flows here in Las Vegas than the companies you refer to combined. And we believe that we'll continue to grow our cash flows here off of the very difficult bottom we had in 2008 and 2009. As it relates to our debt levels, we are going to deleverage the company. We've already started to do that. Uh, we certainly have the capability to do it through accessing the capital markets. We've proven that in the past. And as we go public, for example, in Macau, uh, as we sell some non-core assets here, and as we generate more free cash, uh, we expect to rapidly deleverage. Our goal, by the way, is to get that debt that you referred to under $10 billion over the next few years, and therefore our leverage or in other words, the debt to total cash flow is going to decline, in our opinion, from about 10 times currently uh, down to five or six times over the next few years. And that would put us in as strong a financial position as any company in our industry.
Okay, Jim, let me talk to you about Asia because, as you mentioned, MGM was late to the game and getting into Macau, but now you're partnering up with Pansy Ho. You, you said that there, we're going to see an IPO later on this year on this Macau venture. Can you be a little bit more specific for us? Well, I'll try, although uh, the timing is not totally in our control uh, under Hong Kong listing rules. But what, what have we done so far? First, uh, we just literally this week completed a very uh, oversubscribed, very successful bank deal. That was a very important cornerstone to getting our IPO done later this year. So number one, we, our bank deal, our long-term financing is in place at the MGM Resort there. Number two, our operating performance has been solid. We made over $250 million in cash flow over the past 12 months in Macau, and we expect that number to grow in 2011, and that sets us up well from a valuation perspective for uh, the pending IPO. Number three, we'd like to be a larger presence in Macau. As you know, uh, mm -hmm. we are not the largest. In fact, we're the smallest concessionaire. So we've been petitioning yep. the government uh, for an additional site. And as we are able to grow in that market, both with our existing resort yep. and a new resort, we think we'll be able to have a growth story uh, that will sell a successful I'm, IPO. I'm running out of time here. I'm sorry to interject, but let me just ask you about uh, what happened nope. in New Jersey with uh, your partner, Pansy Ho, being found unsuitable by the gambling agency. You know, with all these questions and a lot of dark clouds, uh, do you have any concerns about who you're dealing with? Uh, we have examined this thoroughly and we respectfully but very uh, rigorously disagree with New Jersey and uh, we've entered into a settlement agreement with them so as to uh, for us to gracefully exit that market. Uh, we're not going to be in New Jersey long term. We will be in Macau as we are today long term and we have the utmost respect for our partner. Okay, Jim, nice talking to you. I'll see you soon.